Hi, this video will combine two of my favorite things, 3D animation and not paying for things. Namely, making free props look as good or better as the equivalent props that actually cost money. The prop I'm using for this video is going to be the Jawa Sandcrawler, because people really do know what these look like, so I have a good comparison. Also, there are a ton of pay to use props that I can compare this to to show that I actually know what I'm doing. Step one, use all the textures that come with the free prop package. When you download one of these free props from innumerable sites that I love to find, they come into a zip folder like this. To make my life easier, I just separate them and put them into a separate props folder so that I can easily load everything and if I need to, I can come back to it just to stay organized. So this file is an OBJ, which is as, as basic as basic gets for teaching purposes. It's probably the best way to start. You might find props that are inherently more detailed than this right out of the gate. But if I'm going to do a comparison and as a teaching tool, this is probably for the best. Most of the time when you find these, the individual textures will be labeled. In this case, however, it's actually more automatic where you, the exact same texture goes to every single part and it loads automatically. Great, very convenient. And right away, it looks actually pretty good, just, just, just as is. And if this were gonna be sort of something in the background, I would be pretty much done from here. But if you wanna do anything that's closer to a zoom in or maybe like a for, semi foreground shot, this just will not cut it. When I do a bit of a zoom in here and a quick render, yeah, these individual panels here, they're extremely uniform, it's very flat looking and relatively uninteresting to look at. This is where adding texture details comes into play. Go over here to your services menu, type in the word bump, B-U-M-P. Now load the same textures as the base color because these are literally the exact same color maps. This will give a number of shapes in the texture, actually a little bit of lift that will add just a little bit of detail when we do our renders. And like most things in Daz, there's a scale from zero to 50. I'm gonna go about halfway through, do a quick render. And yeah, that's already got more detail. It looks a little bit of a bump right here. The individual panels look more raised. They actually will cast shadows, making it look less like a individual plane and a series of combined shapes. So now I'm going to play with the bump levels. This is going to make that bump either more or less dramatic. And with this prop, I really don't need to go too crazy with it. And after I have it where I want it, scroll down to where it says normal maps. And this is going to add an additional layer of textures to the prop. And in this case, I'm going to go with the metal map textures that the file came with. And yeah, that actually kind of gives it almost like um, an under rust kind of look, like the metal's a bit more aged. This kind of thing's going to be good. Again, if you're going to have any kind of a close up, if it's going to be off in the distance, it's not going to matter. In the foreground, this is very necessary work. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. The individual metal textures is clearly showing so is the shadows coming off the panel with in between these little ridges right here and that's basically how you do this hope you had fun this is a pretty quick video for me if you have any questions or comments of course feel free to ask if you want to help me out like and subscribe